What's up, everyone? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers. Say hello to Steven. How's it going, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to review for you from the House of Arabian Oud, Kalimat Black. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers So, my friend Stephen, have you tried many Arabian Oud? No, not many. Um, I've actually tried this one a couple of years ago. Okay. I had a subscriber who uh, sent me a decan. It was a pretty small decan, but awesome. I went through it and I really enjoyed it. Cool, cool. This company has been around for a while. I'm not sure when they first came out, but they have over 800 stores in over 33 countries wow. and over 400 products. Wow. So, that's widely distributed around the world. And actually, the First U.S. location opened about two years ago. I did a video in Times Square, right? Yeah, yeah. Great shop, great yeah. atmosphere. It's really cool store. For sure, for sure. If you're ever in New York, definitely to check that out. So this is Kalamat Black. There was an original Kalamat, mm -hmm. which I'm not familiar with. Orange box. Yes. Yeah. This comes in two sizes. It comes up in a hundred mil bottle, which this is mm -hmm. for one twenty, and there's also a two hundred and fifty mil bottle for two hundred. Wow. The notes for this one are frankincense, basil, oud, amber, and, and vanilla. vanilla. Yeah. So, what do you get from this? Well, definitely vanilla. <laughs> yeah. I get the vanilla, I get the oud. You said something and to me off camera, actually, and you said it kind of has like a Middle Eastern vibe. It does. Yeah. For me, though, uh, Middle Eastern fragrances, I typically associate the note of rose. Yes. And I don't get that here, which no is a good here. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that I didn't want anything to compromise that vanilla oud combination, that interplay mm -hmm. that's going on in there. And um, I think that the fragrance itself is very well composed. I like the little accents in there, like the basil and some of the other nuances. I don't know if, it, you know, I'm sure it's an amber accord in there. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what other resins are at play in there, but I think it's put together very nicely. It doesn't scream. This wears very smoothly on skin. Yeah. Like, I don't get anything hardcore that screams through all of the notes or composition. Right. I definitely get oud. It's not animalic. It's nice. It mixes with the vanilla well. For sure. It smells Middle Eastern, but not in a brash way. Because some Middle Eastern houses can be really overly bold. Red oud. <laughs> no, no, but I love that. No, no, no. That's, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. fave. The same here. That's... No, I know what you mean. And um, you make a good point because a lot of the notes in here are bass notes, right? Mm -hmm. The vanilla, the oud, the amber accord. So it's not going to be loud and screeching or over the top. Um, it is a little bit more subtle in its appearance and the vibe that it gives off. Subtle but present. It's yeah. one of those. It wears kind of softly, but it projects just right. Mm -hmm. Like it leaves a trail when you walk by people and it lasts for hours on skin. It wears great in the cold, cold weather. Yeah. This is fairly new to me, but I've been hearing the name Kalamat Black around the fragrance boards on Facebook a lot. Yeah. And now I get what they were all talking about. Yeah. I get more of the amber on my skin than the oud. Mm -hmm. Oud's there, but it's it's the way I like it. Not too pungent or animalic or right. goaty <laughs> or <Yeah>. furry <laughs> or, you know, it, it, it's there, but not too much. Yeah. It almost has, um, when you give it a chance to settle, it almost has like a leathery quality about yes. it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's unusual, but it's, it's very well put together. Once again, I know that's like the third time that I said it. I think it's a wonderful fragrance. It doesn't seem rushed and it doesn't seem like um, something that's been overdone in the industry because I think there are a lot of fragrances out there that kind of mimic one another. And this one is in a league of its of, own. I can't think of something that smells like. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there is if you really looked deep, but yeah. off the top of my head, it doesn't, it's not reminiscent of anything in particular. But it is Middle Eastern. It is well composed and it's not overly projecting but projects just enough and longevity is fantastic how many sprays do you usually do i do four and that's probably a bit much oh really okay yeah i've heard people say in reviews and online that they can go with one and they're good to go wow for like a good okay. portion of the day that's, a, that's that. a little too light for me <laughs> <laughs> no i can't do that but it wouldn't be one of those that i do like 10 or 12. There are some that I do 10 or 12, but not this. No need for it. It's quite enjoyable. 
It could be unisex, but I think it stands firmer on the the um, masculine the side. And, yeah, sure. But a girl could rock it if she wanted to. We, we could all wear whatever we want to. Of course. So would you recommend this? I definitely would. Yeah, I think it's great. I would recommend it for formal occasions mm -hmm. because there's that complex quality about it. Um, I gotta interject, I'm sorry. Complex but simple. Like, it's not, it's not complicated. Right, like it, it, okay. It has a complexity, but it's not complicated. Does that make any sense? Or, what, or do you know what I'm trying to say? I think um, the it's notes don't It's not trying clash. too hard, right. right. And yeah. it's not trying overly hard to be something. No, yeah, I know what you mean. When I think of fragrances like um, Interlude Man, that to me is complex. There's so many elements going on in there. Or even the fragrance by Bodicea the Victoria is complex. Mm -hmm. That one is complex, right? Uh, but this one, yeah, there's a lot going on in there, but they mesh together so well, you know? So I do know what you're saying. And despite that it's a Middle Eastern fragrance, it definitely has a Western wearability about it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So I would love to share a Temel Decan. Thank you, sir, for reviewing oh, yeah, with me. Oh, yeah, of course. My oh, pleasure. It's always a great thing to collab with this guy right here. Thank the you. bearded guy right here. <laughs> monster from the... Uh, monster, not... Is that Monster from the Muppets? The bearded one? The rock? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to offer a Temel Decan of Calumat Black to one lucky subscriber. This can be worldwide. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, subscribe to Red Lessons, like and share this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this review of Calumat Black or what your favorite Arabian Oud fragrance is. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you have been a subscriber to this channel, please do click on that bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, guests on BFL, giveaways, and all the fun stuff that is always happening here at BFL. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you at the next review. Take care. So, what do you get from this? Well, definitely vanilla. <laughs> yeah. I get the vanilla, I get the oud, and you said something off camera and it really struck a bell with me. You said it has like a Middle Eastern vibe. It, it certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hearing it talked about a lot on the great favorite. I've been hearing fragrance. He I've been hearing. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you at the next review. Take care. That almost went down. Just it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>